what you have feel like solution that is a prospective solution that goes toward making sure that insurers come into the market, but all the while have some kind of a backstop or some sort of a cutoff because the enormity of the losses are so big. This is what they did with terrorism insurance, where basically the curve sort of looks like this, but the events can go off the screen. So TRIA or this new pandemic uh, reinsurance act kind of cuts the tail so that insurers can underwrite and tell you what the real pricing is for business interruption insurance without the exclusions. But what happens retroactively? I mean, most of this, most of these contracts that were written did not include business interruption right. for a pandemic. What happens going back? So I think, I mean, I think what's going through Congress right now and what the regulators seem to support is a small business uh, bailout or aid or whatever the words are, not to undo the exclusions, not to make insurers pay for insurance claims that they didn't write. They specifically carefully excluded business interruption exposure caused by pandemic viral epidemic events. And so I think what's happening with Congress and with the support of a lot of the regulators is that they're contemplating doing this infusion without regard to whether you had business interruption insurance or not. Only 30 percent of the small businesses, I believe, even had business interruption insurance. And in a great, great majority of those, there were the exclusions that specifically excluded events caused by pandemic or epidemic. So I think really the fair solution, the right solution, the one that keeps the insurance industry in the market, because these claims, if if un, if, if permitted, if the exclusions are undone, they would dwarf, completely dwarf all the surplus that the industry has. And it wouldn't be fair because they never wrote that risk. So I think that Congress is considering some kind of a infusion the regulators support it. You do see various states, as you referred to earlier, that are kind of popping up, threatening through legislation to undo the exclusions. But that seems unfair and very, very bad for the industry and ultimately for the economy, because when people come back to work and businesses restart, they're going to want business interruption insurance. And the industry has to feel that they can come in probably with some kind of PREA solution, pandemic reinsurance uh, um, act to be able to write that insurance.